said he was, you know, he didn't say we're having a wedding. He said like, oh, I'm going to a wedding. Like it was, it was impl implied almost that he was a guest or something. I don't know. We didn't get to like talk long. And I see them get on like three people in front of me. And I see once we get up there to the plane that this girl's asking the flight attendants to put her dress in that closet. And I was like, shit. So when I got up there, they're like, we already have a dress, a wedding dress in the closet. Like, you can't, we can't put yours in there. I was like, are you kidding me? But it did end up being fine because basically what they did was they gave me my own overhead bin. Like it was all the way up in like the first class area. Um, I was not sitting in first class. Um, and they gave me my own overhead bin and we laid it down. So like it was fine. Obviously, once I got on the resort and stuff, like, I had my dress, like, steamed and everything, so it, it is what it is, but the irony of that, right? So, the flight from Philly to Jamaica is easy. It's, like, three and a half hours. Um, we left, like, a little late because they had to, like, de-ice the plane, so that was annoying because the journey there, like, you know, when you go through customs and all that stuff, plus from the Montego Bay airport, which is where you fly into, to Sandals OG in Ocho Rios, it's a, it's a 90 at best, two hour, um, shuttle ride, so you get off the plane and you, like, go through customs and you get on a bus and it's, like, customs in Jamaica was awful. We were in line, like, to get into the country, like, in the airport for, like, a full, like, I want to say, like, an hour. It was, like, really annoying. So antsy. You're, like, hungry. You're annoyed. Um, but, you know, we got through, and we got on the bus, and it was me. There might have been, like, I don't know, ten of us. Um, out of our friend group, and a couple people drank, you know, beers on our bus. Um, I opted not to, just because I didn't want to, A, be, like, drunk in that moment, and B, like, I'd have to go to the bathroom. <laughs> but other than that, the bus ride was pretty, pretty uneventful, which, remember that for next part of the story at some point. We get there, it's gorgeous. Tony and I had a sweet, um, meaning like you have a person that's assigned to you one in the day, one in the evening shift, that you literally get a little cell phone and you can call them and be like, hey, can you bring me like a cheeseburger? Hey, can you go buy me sunscreen at the store and bring it to me on the beach or like whatever you want, like they'll do. And we loved our butlers, Stanford and Vivian. They were so cool. Um, 
sd300 room based on how many guests we brought basically what it was was like for every like 11 rooms that were booked among my guests on that for the 12th one that was booked we got like x amount of dollars towards our stay off so we ended up having so we needed i think 37 rooms to get our room like completely free and i'm pretty sure we had exactly 37 rooms um so that ended up working out very well thank god um so tuesday i immediately wanted to like go to the beach because that's what we're there for it's gorgeous we had such amazing weather blue water warm gorgeous so we went to the beach for a bit had a couple of drinks went in the hot tub um and we just went up to change um get ready for dinner i knew this night wasn't going to be crazy because all my guests were arriving tomorrow so we ended up having dinner at the sushi restaurant which was actually quite good um with another couple and then we met a couple of our other friends out at the bar their oceans beach bar it's right on the beach it's the more like dancey one with like a dj and stuff whereas a couple of their other bars they have like a piano bar and they have like a speakeasy with live music and like some other bars that are just like more chill so like obviously i had to go to the one with the dj always so we went to sleep probably around like 12 don't get me wrong i was drinking this whole trip <laughs> i wasn't 
as well as I did like a printed itinerary like to put in everyone's rooms. So I guess there was just like something was lost in translation there. They tried to call me at the resort and be like, oh yeah, no, I don't, like they basically tried to kind of play it off. I was like, look, in my head I'm thinking like I work in events. I know that you guys like mess this up. But it was like halfway set up. So like the twinkle lights were up, luckily, which those were beautiful, gorgeous, amazing, so necessary, even though they were $980. The DJ was there. He was set up. The tables for the food and like the things were there, but the food wasn't like in it yet. The bartender in the bar was there, but he was getting like, he had to get like cups or whatever. So basically not really anybody else like noticed, but things didn't fully get like perfectly set up until 6.30. So they did extend the party for me from 6.30 to 9.30 instead of from 6 to 9, which was fine. Um, I really, my main concern really was just getting a bartender there like ASAP because it was like, you know, 6.15 and like he was still somewhere else and my group likes their drinks. So I was like, we need a bartender stat. But the food was fantastic. Uh, it was all like hors d'oeuvres and stuff, which I was so worried. Like, is it going to be enough? Are people going to go hungry? It was plenty. It was amazing. There was a fire with s'mores, like a huge fire pit on the beach. This was all on the beach in the sand, like right near the water. It was so amazing. I was dancing my ass off. Um, it was like just surreal and dreamy and amazing to see everybody all in their white outfits, you know, 55, 60 people, however many it was. And it was just gorgeous and perfect. Like, uh, I would, I would, if I could like die and go to heaven, I would want to like relive that night. So that was amazing. And then afterwards we went again to like the oceans beach bar and stayed there until, you know, 12 or whatever. I know it wasn't that late. Like, and when I say 12, 1, like when we're home, when I'm home, I could be out till 3, 3.30. Like, um, so the bar there closed, closed at 1. So that's really like the latest you can be out, which is like for the best. Um, and it helped, like, I woke up on Thursday, the day of our rehearsal dinner, and I was like to Tony, like, how late was I? How late were we out? Like, did, did I get good sleep? He's like, oh, like, you were in bed by 12. I was like, lovely. So Thursday was really just a beach, beach day all day. I had my white bathing suit. Me and Tony did our little, you know, glow up weight loss before and after photo shoot on the beach. You can check it out on my Instagram, Julia X Babe. And we just drank on the beach, swam, had fun. It was a beautiful day. Like, it was perfection. Like, just imagine being on a gorgeous island in the sun, feeling your best, looking your best with every single person you love, your parents, your friends, your cousins, everyone that you're obsessed with. And not only are you there with these different groups of people, but they were all in with each other and getting along with each other. It was like, I could cry thinking about it. It was so good. Um, so that was Thursday during the day. Nothing really. We just drank and chilled and had fun at the beach. And then Thursday night was the rehearsal dinner. Now the rehearsal dinner was at a cute little gazebo. Really nice. It was like a U-shaped table. 
it's so far from the beach and you have to like, there's a shuttle that comes every 10 minutes. It's quick and it comes all day every day, but you get on the shuttle, the hop, and that takes you from like this side of the resort to that side. Like you literally, it's two minutes, but you go out like into the street. They open the gates, you go across the street, go into the thing. I was there for the beach. We wanted to be walking distance of the beach. I didn't need a private pool. I don't care about a pool. I wanted to be at, in, at the beach. So just an FYI on that, if you do ever choose to go stay there. Um, so, yeah, so there's bars and restaurants and things on both sides of the resort. There's like 16 restaurants. I've now been there twice. I have still not even scratched the surface of going to them all. I went to like the sushi one, the Italian one, the hibachi one, the like regular one, American, I don't know, um, their steakhouse, but there's so many more. There's a French one, there's a Southern one. Uh, yeah. So we went from the beach side to the other side to go to the speakeasy, the rabbit hole, which is really cute. And it's like I said, it's a little more chill. You can sit and there's like live music, which they had that night, which was really cute. The singer's voice was like, it was unreal. He was like spectacular. Um, and at that point though, like we were tired. We knew we had the wedding the next day. Um, my feet were killing me. Those mock and mock shoes, guys, the pink ones that I showed you before, um, that are like the fake ones. So cute, but horribly uncomfortable. Likely will never wear them again. Probably will donate them. Should I do a fucking giveaway? I don't know. They're size eight. Um, but they were, they were perfect for that night. Also to a side note, I've said this, but I had a videographer for an hour at the white party, an hour at the rehearsal dinner, full wedding day, full day Saturday, which I'll get to. So the vlog, it will be long and it's coming on my website <laughs> for all access members. Um, and then all, all the other members will get like a, like the, what I, what should happen, what it's supposed to be, what I was told is like an hour long, like video, like of the whole thing, maybe more. And then like a 10, 15 minute version, like a smaller version. And then like a 60 second trailer. So all access people will get the longest version. Everybody else on my website, all other tiers will get like the 10, 15 minute version. And then Instagram will get the teaser. So yeah, we went to the speakeasy. Um, I want to say we didn't get home till like 12 though, because the hop was like running slow. And my feet hurt. I took my shoes off. I was like ready to go to bed, but I get really bad like sleep anxiety sometimes like when I'm nervous or anxious or I have something going on, it directly reflects in my inability to sleep. And um, so I, you know, took my anxiety medicine um, and Tony fell right asleep and I was still like kept waking up and, and being like, oh my God, I have to get up at 6 a.m. to get ready. Da, 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 da. Um, and so I literally was like, I cried at one point when I realized it was like one in the morning. I was like, oh, and I had to take more of my medicine. I did end up falling asleep probably by like 1.30. I 
annoyed me. So Tara did four and Brielle did four, which was so great of Tara. Of course, you know, she was paid, obviously, but like still she's on vacation. She doesn't want to work. That's, you know, and big inconvenience. And she really came through by doing that. Um, so it was so appreciated. I love her. That's my girl. Whereas the hairstylist, Kristen, she was fine with doing all eight of us. Um, and, uh, yeah, so we had to start early because usually with a bigger group, you would probably have, your person would bring an assistant. I couldn't, I didn't have the budget to do a second person coming on the trip. Um, so Mara was the first one to get her hair done and her makeup done. She, uh, gets up very early to work out every day, so I figured in this first slot um everybody looked gorgeous like so pretty loved everyone's hair and makeup um and we you know just drank mimosas and chilled and listened to music while we got ready um, in my room and you know it was uneventful i opted not to do getting ready photos don't care about them don't need pictures of me in a bathrobe I like polished pictures. <laughs> um, I think the videographer, though, came for like a little bit while we were getting ready. I don't, I don't even really remember. Um, and my photographer came to get me for the first look. And I think he took like two or three. Like he took a couple pics. I mean, he's the best. He actually ended up just showing up at the white party and like took, snapped a couple pictures of it when he didn't even have to do that. Like he was the best. Such great quality, not cheesy photos. So we got ready. Tony was getting ready in his friends, Colin and Sean's room. And then we went down to do our first look, which was at their little wedding chapel that's right on the water off a dock. And the floor is glass, so it's gorgeous. And you can see through the floor to the water. We didn't get married there because it's small and you could probably only have like 20 people in there. We had like 60. I think was like 66. Um, but sorry, there's something in my eye. That's where we did our first look. Um, it's like, I feel like I like was like blacked out during that. I saw a couple of my guests as I was walking there. I was like, don't look, don't look. And did Tony cry when he saw me? No guys, he didn't cry. <laughs> I always see those TikToks and things like if my husband doesn't cry, da da da. I've seen Tony cry about like four times in my life. It's hard to get that man to cry, but that does not mean he wasn't absolutely awestruck by how beautiful I looked. <laughs> so we had our first look. We then got pictures with the bridal party. Just a few, nothing crazy. I mean, just wanted a couple good ones. Um, and we were supposed to do family portraits, but there was a miscommunication and Tony's mom wasn't down there. And so we didn't really have time. So we had to go over, we had to like go back and go to the wedding. So there was another snafu where I was told by my wedding planner that, you know, the wedding starts at four, at three thirty or three forty-five. She was supposed to come, three thirty. She was supposed to come pick us up, like come to my room, grab me and the girls. And they had like a special wedding bus that they put you on so you don't have to walk through the lobby go on the hop with everybody else it's like a special van where they bring you right up to where you're about to get married and walk down the aisle which is perfect i don't i still to this day don't know what happened but she never came and um but again the, the people i worked with really were spectacular 
you know, it was rough. <laughs> but, you know, we got on the shuttle. We went to the airport, came home. We were so sad. Literally, I cried when we got home a little bit. I cried the next day. I was like, I miss Jamaica. Like, that was the best time of our lives. We felt good. We had everyone we loved around us. Like, literally could not have asked for a better trip. Absolutely perfect itinerary. Everybody had so much fun. Our friends are already like, when's the next trip? Aruba 2024. I'm like, we'll see. Like, if I'm not pregnant. Um, and then I got laid off. <laughs> so that was um, a lovely way to start my It's over. 